Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have my daughter with me, Robbie. And before you, we have a seafood feast. We cannot wait to eat. I am so hungry. I mean, I just cannot wait to dig in. I have my special sauce. We added a little onion to it for her request. I want a lot of onion. So we have a lot of onion. So today we have crab, we have eggs, we have corn, we have lobster tail, we have shrimp for her, and potatoes. So we're going to go ahead and dig in. We do have a topic today. Robbie's going to talk about her surgery and how the process went for her. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and dig in. Oh, I forgot we have the hot noodles too. She wanted those. We have the hot noodles as well. Right. Let me go ahead and wrap it a little bit so it won't get everywhere. <laughs> Mm. Mm -mm. Wow. Mm. Yeah, it's so good. Wow. Mm. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you guys for liking, subscribing, watching my videos. I appreciate it so much. Mm. There you go. Mm. 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 So good. I forgot to we have beef sausage here too. Mm. How's your day going, Robbie? Good. How was work? Good. It's good. Mm. I went to meetings. Meetings. How's it been working from home? Weird. Yeah. It takes some getting used to. Pretty used to going to the office. Hopefully for not much longer. Being fashionable. That's what she misses. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the boss. Mm. Mm. Wow. Did I put enough onions in there for you? Yes. <laughs> mm. Mm. Hope you guys have something good to eat tonight. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. You put the whole seasoning pack in here. Yeah, it's hot. What's the spicy um, noodles? I didn't hold back. <laughs> So comment below guys, let me know what you guys are eating tonight. This is so good. Must be really good. Rap doesn't have much conversation for you guys. <laughs> I don't know like what she's said about it. What's it? What happened? 
with your surgery yeah mm -hmm. so at work my coworkers and I were like just start from the beginning I'm like allergic to a lot and like gluten dairy tree nuts fish except for shellfish and avocados and soy and a lot of the meat replacements have soy in them and so my coworkers now let's not eat meat for a week and see how we do so I went to Walmart and I got like the vegan pepperoni and I made pepperoni pizza one night um, and I got um, vegetarian burgers and things like that and then my stomach just really began to hurt and it was like it became inflamed <clears throat> to the point where I looked like I was pregnant and my stomach was just constantly hard and then it took away my entire appetite like i that whole time when my stomach inflated i did not eat food for two weeks and i was dropping weight like crazy but like i was at home i was quarantined so i wasn't around anyone and i wasn't moving around or anything i was just at home working but it then it became to where it was hard for me to even sit up and work because i just the pain never went away i couldn't take any type of medicine or use the bathroom and it would stop it just was like i was in constant pain mm -hmm. i couldn't even like go to sleep couldn't even drink water i couldn't even drink water with mm -hmm. try to keep it down so i went to an urgent care they did a x-ray on my stomach they told me it was my colon and it was like well you just need to use the restroom so they put me on these laxatives and they weren't doing anything but making it worse then i went to the hospital they gave me some um hydrocodone and like antibiotic because they said that I had a mass on my ovary and the doctor there kind of just like brushed it off like just go and see your gynecologist I'm like okay mm -hmm. but I'm still gonna be in pain tomorrow and you said this at the point where the doctors were closed like what doctor am I gonna see exactly everybody's closed so then I waited two days I took the medicine that he um, prescribed to me and then I was still in pain and so I came back to the hospital <clears throat> and this time I had a woman doctor she did an amazing job um, I had ultrasounds on my stomach um, intervaginal one and that's where they saw the where mass. the mass was mm -hmm. And how severe it was. Mm -hmm. So I was transferred to Barnes Hospital in St. Louis. And there, not even six hours later, I was having an emergency surgery. surgery. Mm -hmm. And it was like to the point where I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess they're just going to tell me what's going on. And then I'm going to go home. Mm -hmm. No. The head doctor came in. He was like, yeah, so it looks like your ovary is floating around in there because it broke off with this tumor that is on your ovary and it's killed it. So then and it's also the other organs. attaching to my intestines. It's attached to my bowel. So she couldn't use restroom or anything. So <clears throat> I had the surgery. It was a four hour laparoscopic surgery. Um, and then I was in the hospital for two days, two or three days after that. And it was like the surgery happened on a Thursday and then I was out of the hospital on Sunday. Mm -hmm. But I was still out for like two weeks. Yeah. But then I was like kind of up and moving and stuff the next, the week after that. So it wasn't a hard surgery, but it was definitely one of those surgeries where you're just like, it was this is my opener. first surgery. Right. And it made me take my allergens a lot more seriously and be more like conscious of like what I'm eating as far as food goes. So like things that I even like drink, like I only drink 100% grapefruit juice mm -hmm. and water. I really don't drink soda unless like I have a stomach ache and I want some spray. Um, foods and things, I really just stick to chicken um, or shrimp. 
vegetables, um, gluten-free pastas, because that was yeah, it was serious. Horrible. Mm -hmm. And it was like not even like knowing what was wrong with me definitely it scared me a little bit. Yeah. But and also the br the brown urine that kind of scared me a little bit just just a smidge. Yes, yeah, so I wasn't using the restroom correctly, so my um, urine looked like coke. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, it was pretty scary. And then, like, I couldn't stay with her, and it was like they started the surgery at five, and then I'm thinking, okay, maybe about an hour or so. Five turned into six, six turned into seven, seven turned into eight. I'm like. You know, kept calling the hospital like, hey, what's going on? She's still in surgery. She's still in surgery. They didn't get down to 9, 13 is when the doctor called me. So it was like, it went on and on and on. And I know that they had to go through a lot, you know, and I appreciate them for doing such a beautiful job. You know, the healing process was kind of long and she's now just now really getting up and kind of feeling back to herself. But. Warren, guys. Everybody living like a criminal. So many ways to die. Oh, like the sun done fine. When you listen to the preacher man, do what he says, don't hesitate. Sometimes it's hard to try. But oh, we gotta try. Why?